Pages 83 to 142. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Could you tell me what... Um, where would be that listing in the catalog file for um, 19th century American poet? Emil Dickens, please. In the catalog room on the left. You won't find any such listing. Oh, I want to find that listing. Why wouldn't I find it? Charles Dickens is an English writer. There is no American poet by the name of Dickens. I'm sorry, no, that is, I'm sure, American poet. Emil Dickens. Listen. D. I. I told you. There's no such person. You want me to draw you a picture? No. I'm telling you, you hear me? All right. Clarence. Yes, George? Where's Mary? Oh, well, I, I, I can't. Uh... I don't know how you know these things, but tell me, where is she? I'm if you not... know where she is, tell me where my wife is. I'm not supposed to tell. Please, Clarence, tell me where she is. You're not going to like it, George. Where is she? She's an old maid. She never married. Where is Mary? Where is she? she? Where is she? She's just about to close up the library. Mary. So, what's going on tonight? Oh, nothing special. I'm going to go to a movie. By yourself? Yes. Gloria, this has got to stop. Just because you've had one bad experience doesn't mean that you give up. I haven't given up. I came to this party, didn't I? Oh, ever since the divorce, you lock yourself in that library and hide behind those glasses. Look at you. You used to be a cheerleader. You used to show some cleavage. What? Just let's see some skin, shake your booty, take some chances. What are you playing, old maid? I'm not playing anything. Uh Meanwhile, back in her guise as Barbara Gordon, the mild-mannered librarian... ...the document she wants is missing. But the Gotham City Library makes microcopies of everything. It's all right. I know everything, and it doesn't make any difference. What are you talking about? You were probably very young. Anyone can make a mistake. What? No apologies, no explanations, please. I'm only in town a short time, and the sadder but wiser girl for me. Will you please make your selection and leave? I have. Well, what do you want to take out? The librarian. Quiet, please. The librarian. You're not listening, Marion. Look. Marion. 
marbles, six steelies, eight aggies, a dozen peewees, and one big glassy with an American flag in the middle. I think I'll drop them. No! Shh, Madam Librarian. What can I do, my dear, to catch your ear? I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian. Marion, heaven help us if the library caught on fire and the volunteer hose brigade men had to whisper the news to Marion. Madam Librarian. What can I say, my dear, to make it clear, I need you badly, badly, Madam Librarian, Marion. If I stumbled and I busted my watch and my call it, I could lie on your floor unnoticed till my body had turned to carrion. Oh, this is almost too easy. Uh, whoa. Ah, hey, hi. Um, I was just wondering, where would I bring an overdue book? Oh. I'll take that. I have always loved books. And so I started studying library science at Luther College and... Oh, I'm sorry. I've been going on and on and on about myself all night. Oh, this is no, so no, embarrassing. No, 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 it is such a treat in this city when you meet a woman who's so honest and direct. You're making me blush. Oh, you're sweet. Colleen, stop it. Uh oh, um, this is me. Well, it was nice to meet you, Jill. Really sweet of you to let me pick the restaurant out tonight. Oh, please, I love sushi. Well, uh. Night. Night. Michael? Uh, I was wondering what. I mean, it, this isn't really how I. Oh, gosh. Golly, I'm tongue-tied tonight. It's okay, you can say it. Would you like to come in? Is there something I can do for you? Would you do me a very small favor? I don't know, it depends on the favor. You know Geiger's bookstore across the street? I think I may have passed You know Geiger by sight? Well, I... What does he look like? Wouldn't it be easy enough to go across the street and ask to see him? I've already done that. Oh. You know anything about rare books? You could try me. Would you happen to have a Ben-Hur 1863rd edition with a duplicated line on page 116? Or a Chevalier Audubon 1840? Nobody would. There isn't one. The girl in Geiger's bookstore didn't know that. Oh, I... I see. You begin to interest me, vaguely. Yeah, I'm a private dick on a case. Perhaps I'm asking too much, although it doesn't seem too much to me, somehow. Well, Geiger's in his early 40s, medium height, fattish, soft all over, Charlie Chan mustache, well-dressed, Wears a black hat, affects the knowledge of antiques and hasn't any. And, oh, yes, I think his left eye is glass. You'd make a good cop. Thanks. Going to wait for him to come out? Yeah. Mm, it'll close for another hour or so. And it's raining pretty hard. I got my car in. That's right, it is, isn't it? You know, it just happened. I had a bottle of pretty good rye in my pocket. I'd a lot rather get wet in here. Well. Looks 
looks like we're closed for the rest of the afternoon. Tell me more about this business. Oh, there isn't much to tell. I... What's the matter? I'm just wondering if you have to, uh... Oh, not necessarily. like that, make it up. Hello. Hello. I hate to tell you, but that's Guy Gus car driving him. Who's the man getting out? Guy Gus Shadow. His name's Carol Lundgren. Well, thanks. If you ever want to buy a book. About her 1860? With duplications. So long. So long, pal.